are going to talk about place value. Now, you already know how to write numbers up to the millions. Today, we're going to learn more all the way up to the billions. On the board, I have written the number. It's read 1,246,065,702. Now, in order to figure out the place value of each one of these digits, we have to know actual places. So, broken up into periods. You can see we have four periods here. Each period is represented or separated by commas. In those periods, there are three digits. The seven is a digit in the hundreds place. If we look to the left of it, as we go to the left, it gets bigger. So if you look at, let's say, this four, this four is in the ten millions place. Okay, so that's another digit. As the digits alone, seven is greater than four. However, if we factor in the place value to figure out the value of each of these digits, we will find that the four is actually greater than the seven. Well, why is that? Because the seven's in the hundreds place, we must multiply by 100. So the value of that seven is actually 700. The four, however, is in the 10 million, so we must multiply by 10 million. quick trick for this is to multiply it by the 1 and then just add the zeros. So we take the 4 times 1, which we know is 4, and then we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. So that 4 becomes 40 million. I think we can all agree that 40 million is greater than 700. Now that we know what place value is, uh, let's look at this number 7,123. We have four different places starting with the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So let's find the value of that two. The two is in the tens place, so we must multiply by ten. Therefore, the value of the digit two is twenty. See if you can find the value of the seven. The value of the seven, because it lies in the place of thousands, we must multiply. 7 times 1,000, 7,000. So the digit 7 is actually worth 7,000 in this number. On top of knowing the value of each digit in a particular number, this being 482, there are multiple ways to write the digit or the number itself. At the top, you will see the most familiar word or the most familiar form, which we call standard form. It's standard because everybody uses it. When you look down to the next one, we call this word form. Word form is when you spell out the numbers. You may say, well, when do you use that? The only real time that I can think of is when you write a check. There are some particular rules that you must follow. You can see 482. You notice that it's not 482. And means decimal point. So we have 480-2. The rules are simple. If the number is greater than 20, but less than 100, and does not end in a zero, you must use a hyphen. For instance, 21 needs a hyphen. 64 needs a hyphen. 70 does not because it ends in a zero. 99 needs a, a hyphen. 98 also does. 90 does not. The second thing is, if I had this as 1,482, I would have to write out 1,000 comma 482. The comma also needs to be in the word form at the same spot that it's in the number. Okay, and the final way we call it expanded. Expand means to make larger. So if I put the 1000 here as well, we have, we break it down by place. So 1000 plus that, that value of that 4 is 400, the value of the 8 is 80, and the value of the 2 is just 2. So we have 1000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 2. Okay, so that is expanded form. Okay, we're going to look at this number here. I'm not going to read the number as it may give away one of the answers. But we have 4, 0, comma, 0, 7, 6. So if you had to write that out in word form, how would you write it? To write this number in word form, we must start from the left and work to the right, just like how we read. So. We're going to start off with the number 40. 
thousand. One of the most important things here is our comma. You know, it comes after the forty. So forty thousand seventy dash six. That is the proper way to write it in word form. Now, how do you think we'd write it in expanded form? To write this in expanded form, you have to break it up only non-zero digits. Okay, so we'd have four forty thousand rather plus seventy plus six. Notice I don't have anything for the thousands place or the hundreds place. You don't need to add zero because when you add zero, it doesn't do anything to the number. Okay, today you learned place value. Within the place value, we talked about five different key terms. The first being digits, zero through nine. The value of each of those digits can change on where it is in the place. Standard form is how we normally write numbers, whereas word form was when we write it out with words. Uh, remember those two clues I gave you before, that if it ends, if it doesn't end in a zero and it's greater than 20, but less than 100, you must use hyphens to separate them, such as 60 7. And finally, expanded form breaks it down by the place value itself. All non-zero digits must be included in expanded form.